Hello kids. In this video we are going to learn uh, about joints. Joints means a joint is the meeting of point of two or more bones. Joint is meeting of two or more bones. These are held together by strong elastic tissues. These joints are held by strong elastic tissues that is called the ligaments. There are several joints in, in human bodies. For example, look here kids. It is the joint. This one. Our palm and our hand is moving now. And here it is called a joint. Where the part move it is is called the joint part it is the wrist and palm wrist and hand finger are moving these one parts are called the joint grinding joint it is called a grinding joint wrist ankle are the joints here joints means meeting of two or more bones look this one elbow joints knee joint wrist joint ankle understood now these are the joints and these joints are held together by a strong elastic tissues are called ligaments understood now there are two types of joints are there how many types of joints are there kids two types of joints are there movable joints and immovable joints movable joints and immovable joints two types are there in movable joints we will see there are four types of movable joints in movable four types are there one is pivot joint pivot joint this type of joint is located between the skull and the first two vertebrae of the spine pivot joint is the joint which join the skull skull means our head bone skull and and vertebrae two vertebrae two vertebrae first two vertebrae of spine it is called the pivot joint this joint enable us move our head upward and downward or sideways this pivot joint help us to move front back side both side you move your head it's a moving no kids you are bend your head side yes or no this joint enable us to move our head upward downward sideways on both shoulder we bend both shoulder sides we bend our head this joint help us to move our head second one is ball the ball and socket joint the ball and socket joint this type of joint allows movement in all direction ball and socket joint allow to move in all directions in this a ball like a end of the one bone fit in a corresponding spherical cavity of the under bone means one side of the this one bone fit into the cavity of the under bone or hip joints shoulders joints are of the ball and socket kids socket kinds or hip joints shoulder joints are the ball and socket kinds it is this type of this type of joint of the shoulder that allows to swing our arm in a round and round 
actions just as we do and over arms blowing action in crickets this type joint help us to move our arm round and round when you will throw a ball how it is move it move in a round way no do the action of throwing a ball kids take a ball in your hand how it will throw for example see the cricketers bowler how they will throw the balls that time our hand our arm move in circle round because one side bone is a fixed into another bone into other one bone this type of joint is called the ball and socket joint understood next one is the the hinge joint this joint works much like a hinge or a door hinge joint means the door has a key means lock it move when the door move front and back it help us to move in elbow our elbow how it works this type of joint is called hinge joint this joint works like a hinge or a door or a window the bone that joint can move only in one direction the this bone move only in one direction the joint of elbow knee the fingers and toes are example of hinge joint this one joint move only in one direction it is not move in opposite direction understood no for example look here it is my hand palm my fingers move only in one direction this type my fingers will not move back side my fingers will not bend this type back back side my fingers only move only towards me towards my palm not a towards back of the palm this type joint is called the hinge joint my fingers move back of this one part back of this one part no but they move only front side look this is this joint is called a hinge joint for example look here what is this my elbow move only inside of, towards my towards me not a back of that one hand look here understood no kids this joint is called which one hinge joint the fingers move inside only they come not only they come with this one back they come no only they bend inside one side next is gliding joint the gliding joint the gliding joint allows a set of complex movements allows set of complex movement the joint in the ankles wrist and joints between the most of the vertebrae are gliding joints gliding joints allow a set of complex movements it join the ankle wrist and the joint between the most of the vertebrae are gliding joints look here kids it is the gliding joints it is the gliding joint it is the set of complex movement it is the set of complex movement this type ankles ankle is a gliding and in the, between the most of the vertebrae are called the gliding joints now we are going to see the immovable joints movable joints means they move in proper way in fixed way but here immo immovable joints also are there joints that cannot move from move are called immovable joints the bone of the skull and the face fall in this category
the bone of the our skull skull brains and face they are immovable they never move understood no function of the skeletal system now we are going to learn a function of the skeletal system the skeletal skeleton give shape and form to our body skeletal give shape and form to our body it produce the delicate internal organs like a brain it sorry it protects it protects means it cover keep inside the our other uh, delicate organs inside it skull protects the delicate internal organs like a brain heart kidney liver lungs they are very delicate organs understood no these all all organs are protected by skull skull sorry skull means skeletal system this one a brain is protected by skull heart is protected by ribs yes or no kidney lungs livers protected by ribs this type these all delicate internal organs are protected by skeletal system skeletal bones long bone have a soft spongy tissues lying within their hollow interior called the called it bone marrow bone marrow means long bones have soft spongy tissue lying within their hollow interior okay now numerous blood cells are produced in the bone in the bone marrow every day in the bone marrow numerous blood cells are produced where in the bone marrow every day muscles are joined to bones by means of tongue tough band sorry tough band muscles are joined to bones by means of tough band of fibrous connective tissues called the tendons muscles are joined to bones by means of tough band tough band of fibrous connective tissues this is called the tendons they make a smooth momentum of the body possible these tendons make these tendons make smooth movements of the body possible understood now we are going to see the muscles and their movements muscles and movements muscles and their movements muscles are attached to bones with tendons muscles are attached to bone with tendons tendons means tough band of fibrous connective tissues tendons means tough band tough band of fibrous tough band of fibrous connective tissues are called the tendons they make smooth momentum of the body possible this one muscles are attached to bone with tendons a human body has about 650 muscles of various shapes and sizes the human body a human body has 650 muscles of various shape and size the muscle contracts and relax thus moving the bones at the joint the muscle contract and relax thus moving the bone at joints our tongue is also muscle tongue is muscle and is in fact the strongest strongest muscle of our body 
tongue is the muscle our tongue is muscle and is strongest muscle of our body which is the strongest muscle of our body tongue understood kids now we'll see the types of muscle voluntary muscle voluntary muscles voluntary muscle help to help us carry out actions whenever we want to like walk walking eating writing this voluntary muscles help us to carry out some actions for example running walking writing jumping eating etc our arm and legs have voluntary muscles our arms and legs have voluntary muscles look in this one picture kid it is the muscle cover this one inside this one bones muscles are joined to bones joined to bones muscles are attached to bones with the tendons okay next on the page involuntary muscles muscles that are not under our control are called involuntary muscles some muscles are in our control they are called voluntary muscles and muscles that are not under our control they are called the involuntary muscles involuntary muscles carried out functions like momentum of food and the flow of blood in the body the muscles the muscular the muscles of organs like stomach heart intestine are involuntary muscles some muscles are not under our control for example heart blood circulation stomach functions intestine functions are called the involuntary muscles the muscles the muscle of the heart are called the cardiac muscle the muscles of the heart are called cardiac muscles the muscle of the heart is heart are called cardiac muscles these muscles carry out repetitive functions of pumping blood throughout our body throughout body for our entire lifetime these muscles carry out repetitive functions repetitive functions of pumping blood throughout body for our entire lifetime these muscles carry out the pumping pumping blood throughout body for our entire lifetime understood kids now we will see the words to know organs means we already learned the part of the body the part of the body serving a special functions bone marrow the substance present inside the bone which produce blood cells just only we learned in this one lesson bone marrow means what substance present hollow narrow bones inside this one substance it produce the blood cells joint the joint where two or more bones meet vertebrae the small bone that make up the backbone vertebrae means it is the backbone or it is the small bone that make the backbone tendons the tough and fibrous tissues tough and fibrous tissues connecting the muscles to bones tendons means tough and fibrous tissues connecting the muscles and bones let us revise the skeletal system is made up of bones the skeletal system is made up of bones second is the forelimb or arm are made up of three long bones and 27 smaller bones forelimb is or arm is made up of three long bones and 27 smaller bones hind limb or leg are made up of three long bones and 26 smaller bones in each leg in hind limb means in leg 
23 long bones and 26 smaller bones in each leg. 4. A joint is the meeting of the two bones. Yes, joint is the meeting of the two or more bones. The joint are held together by strong elastic tissues called the ligaments. The joint are held together by strong elastic tissues are called the ligaments. The muscles of the heart are called the cardiac muscles. The muscle of the heart are called the cardiac which pumping the pump the muscles of the the mus these muscles muscles of the heart carry out the repetitive functions of the pumping blood throughout the body for our entire lifetime. Understood kids? You should read the lesson carefully every day. You must read the lesson and try to find out the exercise. Here I will stop my lesson and you take read that one and find out the exercise. Exercise means fill in the blanks. It may be true or false. Whatever is there in this one exercise, you know kids, you try to solve that one. In the next video, I will solve and give the this one question answers. Okay, until you read the lesson, remove the new words and write down in your notebook. Okay, thank you for watching the video kids.